a Lucas Lepre black uh, brown belt. Goyce has come out some good some good results as purple belt. He's won Brazilian nationals and a bunch of tournaments in Brazil. And when you're training with a guy like Lucas Lepre, <laughs> I don't think it's that difficult to find yourself amongst the top of the people in the podium. Uh, that guy, if, for those of you who don't know Lucas Lepre, slap yourself in the face. Greatest lightweight jiu-jitsu competitor of all time. Phenomenal, most well-rounded. I think pound for pound, if that's a term what you guys want to go by, the most well-rounded jiu-jitsu athlete across the board. All athletes, all black belts of all time. I put Lucas Lepre up there. I think, I think everybody, every other athlete would say the same. Top five for sure. He's just been so good for so long, and he's, and you know what's interesting and about he's still Lucas? winning. He's still winning, and he's fighting off these new games, and he's still, it, it's his same game. He doesn't change anything. It's like he's, he's doing a drill. He's got this really cool blend of jujitsu and capoeira that he, he mixes. <laughs> Philip Fitzpatrick here facing Andre Gois. Brown belt. You know what would be cool is if if, if if you guys added a little bit of uh, super matches. Yeah, totally. I think I think the mo more interesting part is see these see these people we're watching in three to five years in the sport. Almost like if we're going to look back at the time when you competed, all those people <laughs> in the sport you guys got. Yeah. Everyone's doing something good. It really, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a breeding ground for some of the best athletes in the sport. What, what a phenomenal opportunity for these guys to be able to go at it. With even some of the matchups that they may have even lost to each other at the Worlds, one week after the World Championships. Oh. In a different rule set. No, it's 30 seconds in before anybody can pull guard without getting a penalty. I'm thinking for sure we're going to see a guard, guard pull right away. Yeah, it's it's shaping up to bet. You see a very passive style gripping by both athletes. And posture. Oh. Oh. Now the jump. Yeah, the Bear, pull. you are right. We see our first pull. Andre Goyce working from the bottom position. Let's see his approach for the guard. Worked forced to, to do some transitioning here, getting some getting back to his guard. Philip doing a great job of, of threatening to pass. Remember, there are no advantages here tonight. So what you see athletes going for are not because they're just kind of going for it to get a word of advantage. They're going for it to get it. And what what else would you want to see? I know. Look at them. They're pushing. Working on the grips, though. Doing a good job and keeping the knee tight, not letting that deli hook come in. Got that leg tied up a little bit. Oh. Nice guard. Tangles his back. Oh, to the knee. Andre's looking to come up here. Clear that leg. Looks like Patrick's going to try to clear that leg and come up. Two. Two points. Andre ahead. Two to zero. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Let's see if we see a lot of similarities between Andre and Lucas Lepre. Oh, Ooh. that's a back step. I'd say that was a, a very Lucas Lepre-like <laughs> pass. Grabs the back of the collar. He's on that hip. Can I kill that knee? Philly Fitzpatrick. Dragging that knee across, trying to isolate that knee. Oh, on the side, jump the back. What a beautiful transition. Oh, Andre finds the pass and is now setting oh, up a submission. 
looking for that knee on belly. Is he going to get it? Yes, he does. Looks like Seven to zero. Looks like he's feeding up a pal too. He swept his there. opponent, passed his guard, put the knee on the belly. Usually after that, you should see a submission. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Especially now that he's feeding that lapel really deep. Maybe maybe shooting for that Bravo. What do you think, AJ? I could see him potentially spinning for an armbar if that knee on belly pressure is really tight. You know all about the Bravo training with Homolo, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Back in Ooh. the half guard. Yeah, Fitzpatrick does a great job of bringing it back to half guard. Two minutes to work. Two minutes to work in the final middleweight quarterfinal. I'm just trying to free that knee. 7 0, Andre. In the lead, about almost two minutes left. Andre clearing that knee on the knee slice. Does he have a submission here that, that he can find? We'll see, we'll see. His his corner screwed. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, trying to slice, trying He's to go trying for that to go slice. For that. Yeah. He, he has the Bravo, right, too? Yes, he does. He also has He's the Bravo. going for it. He also has the Bravo. Minute 20 seconds. He's going for it. The choke's almost there. Tight, tight. Sound quality techniques by Andre's, Andre Goyce. A constant pressure. There, now I got the cross. One minute left, one minute left. Patrick doing a good job in trying to. Look at the left leg of Andre Howes just posted out like that in great posture and a great base, maintaining it with the the right shoulder going across the belly, or across the neck of his opponent. 40 seconds left. Now he's passed. He finds the pass. Do you think he jumps to the arm, AJ, for the arm bar? I could see it in the final 30 seconds, but he's sitting comfortable. He's 10-0 10 on the lead. Yeah. He might... He might play it conservative. He's got two more matches. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna milk this one out. Fifteen seconds left. Setting up that baseball bat choke in the oh, final five seconds. Again. Back to the back. Transitioning. Oh, all the way around. He's all over. What a performance all by over. Andre Goyce, your winner, advancing to the semifinals and completing our middleweight bracket first round. I'm going to let a special guest jump in here to commentate with you for two fights. Three oh, fights, boy. And I'll jump back on and pass the test. We're going to let out. We're going to stay tuned. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who, who are you bringing in here, Barry? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> Andre Goy. Andre comes up with the victory. Who do we got next, AJ? Our next match is the first round of the, what would you call this, the heavyweight division? Yeah.